All right, welcome back to Diddly Squad Gaming. Today we are going to be taking the Ford out for a little challenge. Uh, let's go ahead and customize it because there's a couple things that we got to do. Uh, I believe I have the good engine in it, or at least the best one we have so far. Custom tune. Let's let's go for that. Let's give it a shot. That actually looks like it's even higher, which would be nice. I, I want to put like a 48 inch tire under this thing. Uh, I'm going to go with. You know, I'm going to have to come back for that. I don't know if I want to go chains. Uh... I think I want to go chains because I just have off-road tires. I think chains are, are the way to the way to go. Uh, no, chains all the way around. There we go. Uh, autonomous. I think we go with the advanced instead. Just really doesn't make too much sense when it comes to uh, what you call it. We've got our tall facing, front front facing, I should say, snorkel. And uh, all wheel drive, yes please. The fact that this Ford didn't come with all wheel drive kind of confuses me. But uh, I'm sure it probably was an option to get two wheel drive back then. Uh, pickup bed. Yeah, we've got, we've got this thing. Yeah, we definitely have it uh, decked out. Okay, we definitely don't want any of those. I think I have the hunter, yep. Or is it the hunter? Yeah, it's the hunter. We're gonna go with those, and... I'm gonna do the horns on the bottom, why not? Let's just go crazy. Outrolled, I already got those down, we got the rims down. Although, which rims do I like better? Always been a fan of these ones. So we're going to go with those. <laughs> and uh, color, I'm, I'm good with the color. Although, I kind of like the banana theme of the last one. So maybe we'll do... Hey, no, I'm thinking orange. Should we go orange? Although th this muted orange looks a little bit more natural for the age. Although yellow does look really good too. I, You know what? I'm going yellow again. I, I got a feeling that's my new favorite for some reason. Well, let's go ahead and leave this uh, garage. And we have to go not far. Which is probably one of the first times. But we do have to do a rescue mission. So we got to go here. And... Uh, Guess we, yeah, I guess we literally go to this point here. This seems to be the only way you get up there. Vehicle spare parts, maybe? How do you, how are you supposed to get back there? Well, I can tell you this right now, you're not supposed to do it safely. All right, let's see what, uh, let's see what this, uh, Ford has. 37 gallons, that's a little, that's a little iffy. But the cool thing, whoops, the one thing I wanted to show off, uh, do, 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 do. I can turn on my beacons. Yay, that's fun. Did I not put on, let's recover real quick. I thought I did the advance. Yeah, the tune suspension. I totally forgot how to use the tune suspension. That's a that's a weird horn. Um
Yeah, that's so weird. Let me know what I'm missing because I'm missing something. There was a way you could change the suspension ride height. And now I forgot how to do it. Anyways, I guess it's not overly important until we uh, are at a point where we might tip over. Okay, the one thing that I do have to say about this truck is it probably holds about 140 gallons worth of fuel. I haven't actually uh, done the math. But you've got 14 there, you got 48 there, you got 27 there. Yeah. Is that? Yeah, that makes sense. Front, top, and then the bed. <clears throat> Alright, well, we we've, we've really only have to go a quarter mile, so... It's not long at all. Not far, anyways. We've got the dualies going on, so we should have a monstrous amount of traction. <laughs> Although I, I think the 6x6 probably has a beat. But you know what? I want to I wanna try this vehicle, because I think we have all the upgrades for it now. Except for maybe the, uh, the last engine. Where am I? Yep, I just follow this around. I always, I always pick the snow. Jeez. I always pick the snow to stop in. It's either the snow, the ice, the mud. Just the worst possible spots to uh, check my map. Kick on the lights. I'm gonna I'm gonna probably pull over and take a nap until morning. Once we get to a decent uh, stopping point, and we're probably definitely gonna have to uh, map out where we have to go. I don't think going that direction is going to help us. It could, actually. You know, I think I, I think I am going to go this way. I usually, I usually avoid the long, long path, but I think it's going to be beneficial. Remember, young grasshopper. fastest road may not always be in a straight line. I don't know. I just made that up. I couldn't think of what the actual saying is. Pretty sure it's from a movie. Maybe it's from Kung, Kung Fu Panda, actually. I could, I could be horribly long. I'm not gonna lie. I haven't seen Kung Fu Panda in, in years. Um, yeah, this is just a long... Long, snaky, muddy road. But we got the long winch, which is amazing. We can totally just set an anchor point from really far away and just inch our way in. Okay, now it's snow. So the trail is completely disappeared, but I'm going to assume it uh, follows the telephone poles. Oh, wow, the engine stalled on that. Wow. High gear does not work very well in here. That's not a very good advertisement for if I do say so myself. <laughs> I 
Uh, where are we here? You know what? I could just sneak through. I hope I can sneak through. well let's go ahead and uh, not sneak through yep we're uh, we're gonna decide not to go around we're, we're, we're gonna continue going around the long way That's what we're gonna do Makes me a little nervous. I don't think the Ford is um, Ford is as good. As the uh, the Yaris or the Tartan. Really, either one of those vehicles probably could have crushed this uh, this episode. That's where we have to drop it off. And we gotta go up and around that way. Oh, stones. This is this is better. This is more our speed. Probably should have looked to see if this was the actual road. I kind of just assumed. <laughs> we all know what's happened before when I assume. Yep, it is the road. Look at that. I may actually be getting somewhere in this game. Yo, let's just winch ourselves. I think we're gonna go for the inside the view. really see too much but I guess you shoot for the wide areas and assume that's the road you're like no we're not hung up on anything it's just it's just very bumpy through here look at that look how deep that was oh we gotta haul a vehicle back through here Come on! Like, why is it acting like I'm st stuck on something? All right, let's uh, let's let's assume we're stuck for a while and skip to morning, and then realize yes, we are stuck on something. There we go. There's a there's a lot of roots through here. Whoa. 
Um, that's dangerous. <laughs> that's gonna be real fun trying to get a vehicle through there. Maybe we don't go that route. It's a Don 71. Probably the one vehicle that we uh, have to get unstuck the most. Alright, so this... Ooh. Very breakable ice right there. This was the route I was going to take and come out that way. Actually, I was going to shoot through this way, wasn't I? Which is kind of the direction I'm heading. Let's uh, let's get out of this ice if we can. Come on, back up. Oh. That somehow hurt. I'm assuming it, it dropped into that ice spot and just smashed into some really thick pieces of ice. Oh yeah, he's, it's already re wheeled in. Like, look at the size difference between the two scout vehicles. This is going to be just a nice, slow, easy, easy does it kind of trip back. down this road here and then cut back around. Pretty much doing the path we already took, but at least we know we can do it. And I think this is definitely a path down versus a path up. I'm going to try to stay on the rock. Why do I have all these roll cages for? Ooh, ooh, don't flip. Yeah, like, to try to get up this would have been a nightmare. I haven't used this technique forever, turning the wheels side to side. And eh, probably because it doesn't work. Twenty minutes later. Pretty sure we had left here. Yep. Look at me go. I know exactly where 
I'm going. And we are going places. Alright, so this was a little bit rough, but at the same time... It wasn't too bad. The fort actually did the mud pretty well. I think this is just going to be a fairly quiet return to the drop-off point. don't think there's anything exciting going to happen. At least I hope not. It's not going to be anything hard to do. We're just going to take it nice and easy. We're practically the eagles at this point. Except for that turn right there, because... Yeah. <laughs> for some reason it does, just doesn't want to turn there. I'm in low. I'm still getting wheel spin. I just go auto pick up some speed. Not really. A little bit. Okay, this is where we tried going through the shortcut and that failed horribly. Right, I gotta pay attention here because... Yeah, we gotta go straight. We gotta go up this way. Going where we've never gone before. We're going awfully slow doing it. All right, easy does it. Let's take it nice and slow. I don't really have a choice, but. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, it's so nice to be able to recover. Boom! 22... They're getting cheap with their uh, the money, but at the same time, I don't really seem to need it. Alright, let's... Uh, we gotta drop off there. There are actually a lot of wooden planks we need in this game to deliver all over the place. And am I there? Am I am I ready for it? Look at all the, the actual contracts that we haven't even begun to do yet. Oh, I feel so dumb. Look at this. We could have we could have done this blindfolded. Well, you know what? We'll we'll take the uh we'll probably take the tartan for that and just do a nice easy nice easy hike around the map. Um So we need wood planks there. These are just explore the map places. I swear there was more there was more wood things that we needed. Um, old crossing. It's 
not going to give me any information on it. Those are contests. Yeah, I could have sworn there was more. All right. Well, you know what? We got a haul. We got a whole haul blah, stuff way over here. It's only one plank. I think I know what I'm going to do. Let's uh, let's recover this. We're going to take you. We're going to customize you, first of all, because I got to do the color again. Got to just make everything yellow. We're going to set up for the next... Uh, the next task, which is this wooden plank one. More importantly, we are going to find out. We're going to see, is the scout trailer better or the off-road trailer better? And if I could get out of the snow bank, that would be nice. There we go. Come on. I even have chain tires on, so that's uh, that was that was just my bad driving. So wood planks is, uh, I could have sworn there was like three or four different wood plank episodes or uh, tasks that we had to do, but maybe it just kind of kept going back to this one. That's uh, actually very, very possible. <laughs> me not just, me not paying attention to uh, what the name of the task was. So, yeah, look at the, the width difference. There is a big width difference, so I'm going to take this one. It doesn't quite have the height, but it's skinnier and narrower. And it will hold two planks. Uh, which we have to go... Where do we have to go to pick these up? We have to go all the way to this corner. All the way to the opposite side of the world. Hmm. That's exciting and fun. You know what we could do? I think we'll take the ice path. Yeah, I think we'll I think we're we're gonna take the ice path for sure. We shouldn't have to worry too much about um, breaking through the ice. And you know what? We're right at 30 minutes. I think I'm going to get this down to the ice and I'm going to call this an episode because I want to see... I want to see if... how a 30 minute episode bears with a uh, one hour long or longer episode. Uh, just to kind of see how the stats turn out. Maybe people are deterred from watching a one hour long episode. Um, and if I do start doing half of the hour episodes, I may be doing, I may be doing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And that way I at least get a good amount of videos so that the time will be roughly the same. Uh, because I actually do want to start playing a slightly different game. Um, I will continue with this one, of course. But I do... I actually have a handful of videos already recorded. Uh, so I kind of want to... I kind of want to release... Maybe... Th I'm, I'm, I'm starting to think about doing three videos at once. For that... Just to kick off that episode and then probably do one or two a week. Um, it's actually a really fun game, so playing it, uh, time just flies by. Like, it flies by so much faster than, than this game does. Uh, not that I'm saying I don't enjoy this game, but, uh, anyways. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll roll that out sooner or later. But once I get through the snowbank... Which, now I'm starting to second guess whether or not the, uh, this was the right trailer. <laughs> I, I, I suppose it all depends on if we have to go squeezing between trees. But uh, yeah, I'm going to wrap up this episode here. It's a bit of a short one, but like I said, I'm testing some stuff out. So 
I want to see what you guys think. So let me know in the comments if you like the shorter episodes or if you prefer the one hour episodes. And uh, yeah, anyways, give me a thumbs up if you like this episode and we will uh, see you in the next one. Bye for now.